The stock apps on iOS are usually pretty good, but there are a lot of third-party applications that fill gaps that Apple did not. In fact, a couple weeks ago, we put up a video showing top five alternative apps to stock, and we asked you guys to give us your favorites, what you put on your phone. And you guys came through big time, so every app that I'm picking for this video came from the comments of the last one. If you want to check out the last one, we'll link to it up above. If you want to download any of these apps, I'll link to them down below. The first one is one that I saw more than anything in the comments, Gboard. We filmed our previous video before Gboard existed. It is Google's take on an iOS keyboard, and it is absolutely awesome. You've got things like gesture typing in there. You've got Google search built right into the keyboard. You've got emoji search and a ton of other awesome keyboard options. It's free. If you haven't tried it yet, download it immediately. The next one to replace reminders is an app called Tick Tick. This one's got a ton of really good features, things like syncing tasks across all your devices. You can add a task by typing or just using your voice. You can set multiple reminders to tasks. You can set priority levels, flexibility for recurring tasks, checklists within checklists, and all kinds of other options that get really granular. If you rely a lot on reminders, Tick Tick is a good way to go. For replacement for email, you should give AirMail a shot. Available for either the iPhone or the iPad, my favorite feature that's built in are read receipts. So you can know that person actually read that email that they claimed to, or if they just said they lost it, but you know better. A lot of other cool features in there as well, like Touch ID support, the ability to send emails later, which is one I really like, uh, as well as customizing 3D touch options. If you're looking for a replacement for email, give AirMail a shot. If you're big into podcasts, try Overcast, which is an app that I never heard of until I read the comments of the last video. And it does something that I have never seen before. If there's a lot of dead space in a podcast, it'll automatically speed it up. And you might think it's not gonna sound too natural, but it's gonna sound really good it's gonna turn that hour long podcast into maybe 45 minutes. It also has great search functionality built right in. And last but not least, Camera Plus is gonna give you way more granular control of your photos than anything Apple gods have bestowed upon us. You can set exposure separately from focus. You can now easily control how light or dark your shots come out. You can use the stabilizer to steady your iPhone and get the sharpest photos you can. And also kind of cool, you can use the phone's flash to continuously fill light to improve photo quality, especially for portrait or macro shots. So if you're a phone photographer and you want to get the best pictures, check out Camera Plus. So what do you guys think about our updated list? Did I use one of your suggestions? Do you have more that maybe I didn't mention? Leave it down below and we'll do a follow-up video to this next month. Hope you guys enjoyed. Until next time, I am John Renger from Techno Buffalo. Talk to you guys in the next video. So now that you know five apps, let me tell you a little bit about our friends from Atlassian. It's a great collaboration software that you work with teams, communicate from anywhere around the world. You can assign and track and manage tasks for any project, no matter how complex. That's the clarity of Jira. You can create and share content, organize results, and bring team members up to speed with Confluence. They offer an incredible amount of collaboration software, things like HipChat and Bitbucket. Check them out at Atlassian.com. That's A-T-L-A-S-S-I-A-N.com.